that looks a bit like them and think, oh, they're, they're nice. So, for example, I would look at, at Roger Federer and think, he's all right. Because <laughs> he, he looks a bit like he me. He does look a bit like you. Like a little bit like me. Well, I think we've got, st we've got stills, yeah. So that's Roger, that's Roger Federer. <laughs> oh, you're much better looking than Roger he's Federer. He's like the movie version of yeah, you. Yeah, you yeah. You yeah. That's, if, Jimmy Carr, if Jimmy Carr was a soap, you'd get the part. If it was a movie, he'd get the part. He looks like a movie. Yeah. And then, and then, uh, I could... <laughs> For Martin, obviously. This is. Uh -oh. oh, Martin! Thank you. That's... I wouldn't go out if I was as ugly as journalists say I am. Do you get grief off statement. the journalists? I played Mark Antony in Julius Caesar, and uh, somebody in City Limits said, Martin Clunes is physically and spiritually repulsive as Mark Antony. <laughs> but uh, it was an acting choice, it was the way I was playing it. Um, <laughs> So you can't judge someone from a photograph because I would take in someone's whole essence. Actually, what makes someone beautiful is knowing them, friendship, love, you know... Excuse me, do I get a look in? Um, <laughs> being on telly... Uh... I actually, talking of uh, reviews and features, I once got the biggest backhanded compliment I've ever had in a review. It said his gags are as sharp as his ferret face features. <laughs> Bit much, isn't it? That's good, isn't it? Well, I, I wasn't happy because I, I thought funny. Well, that means I'm not funny because I don't have ferret face features. Oh, no, no, you don't. Interrupt whenever you're ready, chat. Yeah. <laughs>